Hey guys, welcome out to the channel today. As you can see, we have a uh, trailer ton sitting in front of us, wrapped up with a uh, bunch of ratchet straps. And what has happened is somehow, some way, this um, this jack has broken. I'm not exactly sure how in the world it got broken, um, but it did. And all the little balls that were inside, it fell out into the uh, little wheel that sits on the bottom. And I really like having the wheel for this kind of setup because I can push it around easier. So today we're gonna be going over and um, replacing the trailer jack. And I have one in this box right here. And we just gotta get rid of all of the paper. And as you can see, it's right here. This is gonna be a very simple uh, repair. The one that was on here before was rated for a 2,000 pound. Just something happened and it didn't want to uh, go up or down anymore and it just broke. So that's all that I can explain. And went ahead and got on Amazon, started searching around, found this 5,000 pound uh, jack right here by Kurt. So we're going to be installing this one on here so I'm over doubling the weight that the trailer jack can hold and uh, like I said this is gonna be a very very simple install and this one also has the spot where I can hook up the uh, wheel to it so let's go ahead and get started much the uh, only thing that you're really even gonna need is you could even do this with an adjustable wrench I'm gonna go get the uh, impact driver and we're gonna get this done to uh, hold it up you guys could even put it on a car and put it on the ball and just rest it that way but uh, I've had to use the car that actually uh, works with this so I had to use a jack jack it up by this part and then put a jack stand underneath to hold the ton up so it wouldn't fall off at all and these can also be welded on this is an option but I don't recommend welding these on. I recommend using the bolts because if you ever forget to put the wheel up or something and drag it, it will bend it. And this one feels like it's tight about six inches from the base. And so it may have been drug, I'm not sure, but uh, that's what can happen. And if you ever do, this is gonna be an easy replacement. So to get this job done, I do got to move this jack out of the way because we need to be able to see how that uh, that foot just falls right down and it's got grease crap all over it. So as you can see, I, yeah, I don't know what happened. It just completely fell out and all the balls came out of there and uh, we're located in that wheel top so we're gonna go ahead and pop this off this should be only like a five minute job literally So we're gonna try to figure out what happened, but we just need we just need that out for right now. All right, so we got our hole right there, and we're just gonna put this right down into it, like so. And when we put these new bolts in here, we want to make sure that we can get them all in there. So we just get them started. And if you really wanted to, you could put some kind of anti-seize or something on here. But uh, I haven't had any issues getting these off yet. And we want to make sure that all three of them fit before we go ahead and put them on. And now that all three of them are on, we'll just barely get them make sure that all three go in correct and that should be 
good for that. We got the tape holding the handle on. Oh man, that's smooth again. So that just, this is supposed to whip around. It's supposed to be very easy to move up and down. Not supposed to give you any kind of trouble fighting it or anything like that. This is a jack. It's supposed to help you lift the ton of this up. So let's see how far this will actually go up. All right, right there. That's where it's at. So that should be plenty fine. If you have a wheel on the front, you do have to use wheel chocks to uh, hold up, hold your trailer from rolling if you're on an unlevel surface. But now we are freed up. Gotta get that pin out. Now we're back in service and ready to start working again. And like I said, I'll probably look at this a little bit more probably pop that together and put it back in but uh, it did have a really bad tight spot right in this section so I don't know what's going on it may be bent may not but we'll put that up as a backup in case something does happen to the new one thanks guys for joining me on this uh, quick video on just how to replace a uh, trailer jack uh, it's a very simple job. Have any questions, comments, let me know down below. And I, if you do go from uh, or need to replace a trailer, tra trailer jack, always try to go a little bit better than what you have currently used. Uh, try to figure out what's a little bit better out there on the market. That way you can always improve your equipment. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Always appreciated. I'll see you guys on the next video.